Question 13. Relative to a fixed origin O, the point A has position vector 4i minus 3j plus 5k, the point B has position vector 4j plus 6k, and the point C has position vector minus 16i plus pj plus 10k, where p is a constant. Given that ABC lie on a straight line, find the value of p. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my position vectors in column notation. So the point A has position vector 4i minus 3j plus 5k. In column notation, that is O to A, and I can write it as 4 minus 3, 5. So I've got my i, j, and k components. I'm going to do the same for point B. There are no i's, so just 4 and 6. So 0, 4, 6 for O to B. And the same for point C, negative 16, P, 10. The reason I like column notation, I find it a bit easier than when written out in terms of i, j, and k. Now, since A, B, and C are on a straight line, I know A, B to be a multiple of B, C, or B, C to be a multiple of A, B. So the first thing I'm going to do is find my vectors A, B, and B, C. A to B is the same as OB minus OA, so my OB is 0, 4, 6, OA, 4, minus 3, 5. Subtracting gives me a value for AB of minus 4, 7, 1. Similarly, BC is O to C minus OB, OC is minus 16, P, 10, and OB, 0, 4, 6. Again, subtracting, this gives me that B to C is negative 16, P minus 4, 4. Now, as said, I'm looking for BC being a multiple of AB, or vice versa. And if I have a look here at my two values, I'm going to let BC be equal to a multiple of AB. And the reason I'm doing that is if we substitute in our values of BC for AB here, we can see we've got negative 16 p minus 4, 4 for BC and minus 4, 7, 1 for AB. And looking at the I components and the K components here, I may be able to see already that there is a multiple of 4 seemingly occurring. So setting the components of I equal to each other, we have negative 16 is equal to lambda times minus 4. Dividing through both sides by minus 4, gives us that lambda is equal to 4. And we can check this with the k components. Does 4 equal 4 times 1? Yes, it does. And so lambda is equal to 4. Now we know lambda is equal to 4. We can look at our j components and set them equal to get p minus 4 is equal to 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28. And so p minus 4 being 28, adding 4 to the right hand side, gives us a p-value of 32. The line segment OB is extended to a point D so that C to D is parallel to O to A. Find the magnitude of O to D, writing your answer as a fully simplified third. Well, before I can find the magnitude of O to D, I do need the vector O to D. Now, since OD is an extension of OB, then it is some multiple of O to B. So I can write this as lambda OB, again from our position vector, OB is 0, 4, 6. Multiplying through by my lambda gives me a vector for OD of 0, 4 lambda, 6 lambda. I also know that CD is parallel to OA, so let's find our vector C to D. C to D is equal to O to D minus O to C. O to D we have just found to be 0, 4, lambda, 6, lambda. And O, C we have our negative 16. P we now know to be 32 and 10. This gives us a value for C, D of 16, 4, lambda, minus 32, 6, lambda, minus 10. Since we know C, D is parallel to O, A, then C, D is equal to a multiple of O, A. So we have our CD that we've just found. 16, 4 lambda minus 32, 6 lambda minus 10 is equal to our mu. I'm using this time OA. OA, remember, is our position vector 4 minus 3, 5. If 
we set our i components equal here, then we get 16 is equal to 4 mu. Dividing both sides through by 4 gives us mu is equal to 4. Since mu is 4, I can substitute it in here. Rewriting this gives me 16 4 lambda minus 32, 6 lambda minus 10 is equal to 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times minus 3, minus 12, and 4 times 5, 20. Now I can set my j components equal to each other to solve for lambda. So 4 lambda minus 32 is equal to minus 12. Adding 32 to both sides gives me 4 lambda is equal to 20. Dividing both sides by 4 gives me lambda is equal to 5. Now I can check this lambda version works with my k components. Does 6 times 5 minus 10 equal 20? Well, by checking, 6 fives 30 minus 10 does indeed equal 20. So this lambda value of 5 works. Taking this lambda value back to my vector for OD, 0, 4 lambda, 6 lambda. This is now 4 times 5 is 20, 6 times 5 is 30. So I have my O to D vector written as 0, 20, 30. I need the magnitude of this. The magnitude of OD is equal to the square root of 20 squared plus 30 squared. And that is 10 root 13.